Hi, I'm Dr. Maha Devan, a professor of emergency medicine at the Stanford Center for Health Education. Welcome to Viral Facts with Digital Medic. Maybe you're worried about some of the common side effects of receiving the COVID vaccine, or perhaps you have questions about its safety and its effectiveness. You might be wondering whether it's worth getting the vaccine in the first place if the symptoms of a COVID infection are less severe for young, healthy people. So you ask yourself, is it better to get the vaccine or just get COVID? Let's start with safety. As we've mentioned throughout this series, the COVID vaccine is very safe. It's the reason I chose to get the vaccine. Not only did the CDC and FDA scrutinize vaccine safety before approval, but they have continued to monitor safety following the rollout of the vaccines. And until now, we've only seen two kinds of adverse reactions to vaccines, and both are incredibly rare. The first is a severe allergic reaction, which occurs in only two to five people in a million. Not only is it rare, it typically appears within 30 minutes of getting vaccinated, so it can be effectively treated right away. The second type of adverse reaction, blood clots, are also uncommon. They occur in about one out of every 400,000 Johnson Johnson vaccine recipients, and with the AstraZeneca vaccine in about one out of every 150,000 vaccine recipients. In addition, out of the more than 245 million doses of vaccine administered in the US, the CDC has only received 4,178 reports of death among people who received the COVID-19 vaccine. That's not deaths caused by the vaccine, that's deaths reported in people who received a vaccine. And after reviewing all these cases, Experts have determined that there is no link between COVID vaccines and death. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said for COVID. As of May 10th, more than 581,000 people have died from COVID in the United States. That means even if we count every single incidental death reported to the CDC with regard to vaccines, you are still a thousand times more likely to die from COVID itself. Now you may be thinking, I'm young and healthy and most people survive COVID, right? Unfortunately, that's not true. Here in the US, more than 2,000 18 to 29 year olds have died from COVID. More than 6,000 30 to 39 year olds and more than 16,000 40 to 49 year olds. And that's not even taking into account the long-term complications of COVID that can occur even if your infection was mild. Long COVID syndrome is a constellation of symptoms that can last from weeks or months after a COVID infection, even if the person didn't initially experience any symptoms. People with long COVID can experience fatigue, difficulty concentrating, difficulty breathing, heart palpitations, and joint and muscle aches. COVID can also cause damage to your heart, lungs, and brain. Even after recovering from COVID, Medical imaging can reveal lasting damage to the heart muscle, even for people with mild symptoms. And this might put you at increased risk of heart failure and other complications in the future. In the lungs, the scar tissue that forms in response to COVID can lead to long-term breathing problems. And in the brain, even in young people, COVID can cause strokes, seizures, and temporary paralysis. With all this in mind, I hope it's clear that getting the vaccine is far safer than getting the infection. The vaccine can protect you from getting COVID and the many long-term side effects that it causes. And be the best vaccine is the one that's in your arm. That's it for today's episode. Take a look at our Viral Facts playlist for more answers to common COVID-19 questions. Stay safe and stay healthy.